Hello Aries, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2021 mini love and money reading. We're going to pull uh, three cards for love and three cards for money and see what's coming up for you this month. I know they're going to be short, but I thought, you know, nobody has <laughs> hours on end to listen to, to videos, so I thought I would try to do them as quickly as I could. We'll see how it works. Let me know. Drop me a comment. I appreciate it. Okay, so for love, let's see what we have. And I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot by Chris and beautiful, beautiful artwork on these cards. I have the Temperance. And we have the King of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have the Empress. Oh my goodness, there could be a lot of love going on around here. For those of you that are single, I feel like this could be a month where there's going to be I don't want to say movement or action, but it looks like this could be a month where you really do um, possibly meet somebody. And as crazy as the year has been, you know, uh, this last year, this would be something very interesting and very welcome, I'm sure, for those that are single. The Empress means that uh, abundance, love. This could be really a big deal. Um, for those of you that have recently split ways with somebody, there might even be an opportunity where someone wants to come back. Certainly up to you what you do with that, but remember, past behavior is a good predictor of future behavior. Just, just saying. So it says here that as much as everybody seems to want love, it looks like don't don't be in a hurry. You know, love love doesn't <laughs> love doesn't grow quick. That, well, it can grow that quick, but it says don't make any foolish choices here. Just be open to receive. Um, if you're already in a in a in a marriage or a, a relationship, a committed relationship. This could be just what is needed. Maybe a little, you know, stop and pick some flowers on the way home or grab a sandwich and wrap it up and take someone on a picnic. It says just by adding a little bit of, um, oh, how do I want to say, pay attention to that person that you're with. It's going to mean more actually than buying them a lobster dinner or buying them a new, you know, diamond ring or something like that. So with the love for this for Aries, just be open to receive. And those of you, and I'm not sure if that's for everybody, if someone wants to come back from the past, think about it before you make the decision. Find out where, you know, exactly where you want to be. And with that said, let's go on to the money. Money, money, money. And we're using the Crow's Magic by Londa Marks. Again, I love these cards. The artwork on them is really quite beautiful. Very beautiful. And they just feel good. The energy of these cards always feel good to me. So let's see what is coming up in the money for Aries for June 2021. Let's see what we've got here. What do we have? We have, oh, the Seven of Cups. And we have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Nine of Coins. Let's see what that's all about here. Okay. <clears throat> I don't usually like to, <laughs> to bring up luck for people, but I feel with the Seven of Cups, it could be, you know, something with a game of chance. Um, maybe one lottery ticket, not a hundred. If you're going to win, it only takes one or uh, something like that. Because seriously, if you're going to go out and buy a scratch off ticket or, you know, a lottery ticket, it, I would only buy one because if it's meant to be, it will be. But it says you're going to be at the right place, right time has something to do with money. Now that also could mean that maybe you're going to be at the right place, right time to apply for a new position or a new job or something like that. So it just says, you know, um, be at the right place at the right time, meaning that um, maybe you're going to be going out to dinner with friends and you run into someone that says, hey, did you know so-and-so was hiring? Something similar to that. So it's kind of like uh, by chance you're going to have an improvement somehow in your finances. Okay, the Ten of Swords can be um, clouded, okay? It can be... Um, a disappointment actually so here would be the reminder not to spend the money before you get it okay like <laughs> you, you know you don't want to spend your paycheck on Monday and, and paydays on Friday so if you're doing that you might want to make a little bit of a change in how you handle your money and then we're going to go on to the nine of coins which means 
I don't know, it means like harmony, um, kind of, and it means like there's a chemistry here. Um, but once you figure out how to handle your finances, life is going to be so much easier for you. I'm not saying you're mishandling them now, but things that have been tight for a lot of people and trying to squeeze out extra money out of what you have has seemed to have been difficult for some. But I feel there definitely is going to be a change here. Just don't get so carried away that you're spending that money before you have it in your hand, so to speak. But it just says if you're in a relationship, make sure you're both on or married, family, something like that, um, sharing expenses in any way, that you're honest about it. And, you know, um, if you have to impress somebody with money by buying them something fantastic, maybe you're not in the right place. <laughs> because it should be that money is, and it's energy. And what's interesting to me, love and money energy feels so much the same that all of this can go together seriously so one of the things that you might want to work on with your partner that you have now is how you want what do you want for the future and if you both speak up and say what you want this will be easy one can't be you know saving and the other one spending everything or vice versa so get that conversation going and make a plan because i feel like this could be a month of many changes with a lot of smiles here and with that said this is bonnie from soul star bliss let me know what you think i know it's very short um, but I just thought it would be something that was quick and easy for you. So I appreciate your watching and I'll see you again next month.